until he's inevitably arrested for something else later on. You know, you know what I'm saying? Adam, <laughs> was, Adam, Adam was like, whoa, I already heard you. <laughs> Yo, you guys beat his ass right now for the no, body. Kind of hard. No, 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 no IQ, don't follow IQ. IQ Shahid, you know what I'm oh, saying? Okay, yeah, I'm familiar with him. Yeah. We got IQ Shahid. Ain't nobody in ever say, yo, bump that Shahid when they hop in the wheel, bro. Cut it. Like, cut the fucker. I swear on my way here, I heard someone bumping Shahid. Nah, no, isn't that the fool who I fucking filmed outside the store that one time? So apparently, this thing is is saying some shit. Do it, and I know why you really mad at house phone, nigga. He forked your girl, nigga. He plugged her, nigga. Plug it in, plug it. He had what did Ray J say? I hit it first. House phone hit it first. Why well, does he get up in the camera like that? Tell the world you're gay. Just come out and tell them. Cause all them little jokes and on them music Friday streams you used to do, I knew you was gay. Yuri's gay. That Riley shit, that's a cover up. Get that out. Matter of fact, let's just get to that. Let's just get to that right now, cuz. Fuck that. I'm taking my belt off today. I've been humble too long. I've been humble too long. I have not said your name. Out of respect for my little brother AD. Out of respect. But me hearing that I'm still being talked about and I'm not even getting a chance to speak on it publicly. You're wrong, brother. Actually, I can't even say brother. You're wrong, white boy. It's Black History Month. Stop trying to cancel niggas during Black History Month. You're wrong, white boy. I'm on your ass, tobacco man. Crackhead. Meth head. Adolf Sniffler. Want to be sitting here doing these petty ass jokes. You lost your... You lost all that. Ain't no joking with this one. You joke with them niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Because it seemed like people saying they don't know what he said about me. He sneaked this in, and I'm getting tired of it. You feel me? You already let me go. Let me go. You feel what I'm saying? Because all this shit that I be dealing with in the streets, I'm like, oh, man, whoopie woo, man, I know you would. Fuck him and fuck all that. Nigga, I'm a real one. I'm going to be a real one. I was a real one when you met me in Compton when I had to come secure your scary ass. I'm like, bro, get up out of here, bro. Get up out of here, bro. You know how many times nigga didn't save your ass, white boy? And you couldn't even stand up for me, white boy? <laughs> Took your ass to the Roscoe's. Rest in peace, PMB. You were safe. White boy. Then when I fracture my foot and I can't make it to Chicago, you want to blame it on that? Let me go. Blame it on. No, 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 no. We're speaking the real today. All that in the dark shit is coming to the light. Since you want to try to expose people and make people look bad and alter people's life, we're going to alter yours a little bit. White boy. Do it. And I know why you really mad at house phone, nigga. He forked your girl, nigga. He plugged her, nigga. Plug it in, plug it. He had what did Ray J say? I hit it first. House phone hit it first. Nigga, everybody else scared to say it. I ain't scared of your white ass white boy. Nigga, I ain't, I'm not the one. Ray J, house phone hit it first. <laughs> That's why you mad. That's another, see, you got to stop playing with people, fam. You better stop saying my motherfucking name. Because next, you want me to tell you what's going to happen next? You want me to tell you what's going to happen next? I'm going to come up there off Ontario Street and I'm going to interrupt the show. That's what's going to happen next. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody going to see your true colors, man. I'm not going to hurt you. I fucks with you, white boy. Because you miss me. You really miss me, man. And you're showing me. Say, Kiki, they rock with the jersey. It's Black History Month, man. You know what the fuck going on. Then you got niggas trying to cancel niggas in Black History Month. Stop the press. Stop 
the motherfucking press. Why on Reddit none of the pedo 22 shit is on there? Real allegations. Real victim. White boy. We don't say her name. You know her name. You know her name, white boy. Do we know the victim I had? Ahmed Mitri, a man. White boy. Set up, white boy. But it's okay just because you rich with a platform that we just going to sweep your shit up under the rug? White boy. History is repeating itself. They, what you mean they deleting everything on the Reddit? That's what they do. Whenever it's about him, delete, 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 delete. Fuck that. Can't delete shit on mine. Only thing you can do is give my, my YouTube taken down, my IG taken down, because you can't do nothing to me physically. And, I, and, I, and I'm on your ass because you hopped up on house phone, took your jacket off, and threw your hands up like you was about to try to fight her. Fight Milk, the other white boy. He came up there to fade. You looked at my brother. Everybody in that building didn't want to move. Go handle your business, white boy. How in the hell would you stand up, take your jacket off like you about to fight house phone? Shout out to the crow for going through what he's going through, and he's, he, he's, he's holding his head high. You feel what I'm saying? But why do your shit get swept up under the rug, white boy? Who you paying? Could I get your lawyer? If you was a real friend, you would have been, you would have seen my situation and been like, hey, Kiki, they set you up, man. Human trafficking, you need a human to traffic. I don't have a human. Pimping, you need pimp, you need to pimp this motherfucker. This is the reason why I wanted to call in. It's because I'm sick of people using this fucking random ass shit from back in the day that is genuinely not something that I've ever felt awkward about mm -hmm. against us as if it's like this super big deal. So I'm going to give you the timeline from back in the day. All right. So I meet Lena. We go on or we hang out like two times. And then after that, we didn't see each other for like a couple months. And then Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. you can't skip past it. Did you have sex when you met those two times? Yes. Okay, cool. So we hang out a couple times and this is like way back in the day, dude. This is like 2016 when we were still downtown. Okay. And then, so, but she met house phone like through me because like, even like the first time we hung out house phone just happened to be there. Right. And so me and her are like having nothing to do with each other after that. Like, and then, he hangs out with her like a couple months later and they end up sleeping together. And then a couple, maybe even like a couple weeks or like a month after that, me and her hang out again. And then from there, we start hanging out more and more. And that kind of like eventually turns us into us dating. So, I mean, I just wanted to put that out there because to be honest, it was never even like an awkward thing with me and house phone. Like, I mean, to be fair, like, this was way before I ever even like had him working for No Jumper. Like he had been on a few podcasts and shit, but like this was way before. Like I put him on the No Jumper show and like you know took him on tour a bunch of times. All that shit was after this, and obviously I knew about it. And I started dating Lena and like you know fell in love with her and and it, uh, proposed to her and everything. So I mean, it's just kind of like I just wanted to air it out and just throw it out there because I'm sick of seeing people like I ain't gonna lie they were starting to hold it over your head a little bit I'm gonna be honest what you say the, well the, they were trying to hold it over your head because the amount of people who sent it to me and the way everybody's like it's kind of feel like it's a thing where like everybody's giggling about it and maybe you're not in on the joke which you know I told people like, I'm like at the end of the like day what's giving it power is just the fact that people are acting like it's this thing that I'm like fucking horrified by when in reality I mean anybody who fucking pays attention to my content knows that I'm a a pretty open-minded person sexually and I mean me and my girls sleep with different fucking girls every day and it's just not like it's it like to be honest it was never even like this awkward thing between me and house phone it was just kind of whatever because like i mean there's I, I could probably honestly think of like 10 girls that me and house phone both slept with around that time the leno thing is just kind of awkward because you know obviously i ended up getting married to her okay all right uh back at it with the uh <laughs> the, the messy the messy uh no jumper antics bro um you heard what uh, Big Ski said or whatever. And I really didn't want to even react to this, the Big Ski thing. I don't have nothing, well, I don't, say, I don't have nothing personal against, against Big Ski, but 
I was rocking with him super hard, like before he was even security, when he was just was coming up to no jumper, like just supporting him and shit. Then when Poetic Nacho tried to diss me and shit, when Adam and Yuri and all of them was that one time, he was there saying, no, man, Shahid is the homie. He cool, he cool. But then come to find out, after that, I hit Big Ski up for some promo and shit. For, and number $40. I wanted him to, I didn't even make up my mind what I was going to do. And he just like low key ghosted me, like didn't respond for some shit. So I was like, damn, I was disappointed. Like, damn, Big Ski, finesse, he finessed me for 40 And I, I could have been made a video, but I'm like, maybe he needed it. You know what I'm saying? Then everything started happening. So I really didn't even want to react to nothing with him in it. I'm going to be honest. If you see this, Kiki, you probably will. You might have forgot. I don't know. I don't know how I'm texting you, DMing you for weeks, maybe two months, and you're just not responding. I know how I be. People look. I'm like, I got a lot of Instagram followers, too. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, I get a lot of DMs and comments, too. You know what I'm saying? I have a lot of subscribers, too. But when it pertains to business, you ain't missing that, that message. But I'm going to do it anyway for the sake of the culture and for the sake of y'all, the subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Because I fucks with y'all. You know what I'm saying? But... I'm going to be honest, yo. Um, Adam did throw a little subliminal diss at Bisky on the show. I seen it. Talking about the No Jumper Sports. If you don't know, Bisky has a big tattoo. He was on No Jumper. He had his own show called No Jumper Sports. He got the big ass tattoo on his head. Adam fired him for whatever reason he's saying as far as, you know, whatever his, his reason is behind it. Um, ever since then, they've been, they've been kind of like, they, they haven't been cool, right? Um... Adam Steak doesn't whatever, but I'm gonna say this. I'm I kind of Adam, you gained some more respect for me, bro. For you just to get up there and say, yeah, house phone did hit her before. You know what I mean? Hit my wife before I, she was my wife. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of at least guys like us. I know I know how white boys be. It be a little different. White boys they don't really be caring and shit. And hey man, I don't care. He fucked her. You know what I'm saying? To us, to like black folks. That's, I would never mess with no girl that any of my homies, I mean, I'm, I don't say mess with, but wife. But you don't care. I understand y'all is, I mean, y'all are porn stars and shit like that. So, you know what I mean? I understand y'all don't care. Y'all be getting freaky anyway. But we're, we so shocked because as black folks and as like urban people, whether you Mexican or whatever, Hispanic, anything, we don't be, we not into that. You know what I'm saying? So it's normal to you. I understand that. But I respect you because you stood there and you said, yup. It happened. It happened. It's not. You was like. It's not even. I'm not. I don't, I don't even care. You know what I'm saying. But you do gotta agree. It is kind of weird. Like at least, you should at least fire that nigga or stop hanging with that nigga if he was my wife. Did you? Uh, that's just me. I couldn't be looking at him every day. I'd be thinking how he was just dogging my. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Respectfully, and I, I'm not trying to disrespect Lynn. I'm just saying that's how I would be thinking. You feel me? But you was mature enough, and you know, I guess, um, secure enough with yourself that that don't even bother you. Please tell me the trick because I could never. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. You know what I'm saying? But um, I mean, Kiki spoke up on it. And as far as like the the G A Y rumors and all that, I don't know about that. I'm just really speaking on the Lena house plug situation because Kiki did see a lot in that clip. Um, but I respect Adam for for standing up and saying, "Yeah, bro." I mean, look, look what House Phone went through. He's now it's just your turn. Now you're going to see a bunch of memes about house phone. You know, just look at this as equal. Look at this as karma making it equal for, you know, for for you in a house phone situation. You know what I'm saying? Even, I'm not saying house phone wanted this to come out, but just look at it as that. Because he could have definitely been said it. You know what I'm saying? But um, even though everybody else was alluding to it. But um, I mean, ain't really much to say. That nigga stood up to it. He said, yeah. Now yeah, I know all, all the memes going to come and, you know, the reddits and all that. But I respect that, Adam. Now, would I do that? Hell no, nah. I would never wife nothing that no. But um obviously y'all fell in love or whatever, you know. Um and it is what it is. Y'all building an empire, but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Who was right, who was wrong? Would you could you wife a girl or girls, could y'all marry a guy that was smashing on your friend before you and you knew it? Could you do that? I want to know because me, I can't do it. I'm sorry. It's it's some girls right now. It's, man, it's some girls right now that I wish. Oh, there's some girls right now I wish that the homie didn't smash. And they, they kind of might know it too. But it's like, uh, we can't really go. Even if we do, we can't. I can't get serious with him because he probably was like skull, skull fucking her and shit. She, on the couch, she just getting domed. Like, oh, uh, 
Keep, what if he skeeted in her face? Like, oh, I'm gonna be thinking these things every time I see my wife. Like, did you did you give? What if he did the anal? Like, I mean, I'm just saying. What if he made her squirt? Like, ah, did he? What did you do the trick? That's what the first thing they say. Did you do the little trick that you be? I can't do it. That just me. Y'all let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe. I'm going. Yeah. I Q Shaheen. I ain't never seen you in my motherfucking cat. I Q Shaheen. B D D. How do you do that? Hala and all that other shit. Come on, music. Come on. I did my time, just like a man. I came home, stuck to the plan. No more probation. You understand? No more probation. You understand? I did my time, yeah, just like a man, yeah. I came home, yeah, stuck to the 